Michael Jordan's goal is to make his number 23 iconic in NASCAR, as well as partnering with Denny Hamlin to launch 2311 Racing. It's driver, rising star, Bubba Wallace. And we talk with him about Bubba's big win, what NASCAR needs to change, and, of course, a little basketball as well. To see the emotion from Bubba tells you everything about how much work he's put into it, you know, how much effort and how much he wanted to win. And I even dropped a tear because I know his passion. Bubba Wallace made racing history this month. He did it in a number pretty familiar to sports fans. He's the first driver for 2311 Racing, owned by NBA legend Michael Jordan and racing superstar Denny Hamlin. Denny, you were there. Uh, you were there at Talladega. I understand you were in pit row. I actually started getting emotional when I saw the emotion that they had. I mean, you get more proud and happy for them than what you do for yourself. Wallace became just the second black driver to win a NASCAR race, the first since Wendell Scott in 1963, when Michael Jordan was just nine months old. What does it mean for, for Michael Jordan to win at this level as a black man in NASCAR? It's very rare, but it also get, it inspires me that you're making a difference in, 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 in a sport that, you know, no one really thought could even happen. I feel gratitude, but I feel energized, too. Let's keep this thing rolling. Let's, let, let's have other Bubba Wallace's winning. Bubba Wallace goes to racetracks, and he gets booed. Why do you think that is in, in 2021? This sport is needs to change, and it has started the progress of changing, you know, and maybe people are not cheering for him, but he has to dig within himself. You're fighting from within, you know, to, to achieve something. And when you achieve it, it's far more gratifying than you can even imagine. And it's inspiring to people that, you know, really start to understand what the fight really is about. The challenge of entering a sport with little diversity and where the Confederate flag has been commonplace for decades was one Jordan was willing to take head on. When I dove to get involved in NASCAR, I knew I was diving into the teeth of racism. Knew it. Been there, experienced it, but I wasn't afraid of it. I was I was looking forward to the challenge. Denny, I, I understand that you actually encouraged Bubba uh, to avoid social media at, at, at some point early on. Why? Well, I think my message was pretty simple to him is that you, you will not change a hater's mind. You need to go out there and get your motivation to want to make the people that support you proud. Jordan is determined to overcome challenges of inequality through his extensive charity work as well. In just the last two years, he's pledged more than $110 million of his own money and from his Jordan brand to black social charities and to build community health centers. What's driving Michael Jordan to give away so much of his money? Action speaks louder than words. You know, I can sit here and say a lot of different things, but my actions have been that I want to make a difference. We've got an NBA season that tips off uh, about a week from now, roughly. Um, the Hornets notwithstanding, who do we like this season? Well, it's hard to knock out Milwaukee. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you're a champion, someone's going to have to knock you off the, off the pedestal. You know, Brooklyn in the East, you got Miami's changed. You know, my old team, Chicago, made some big, big changes, you know, so they may compete in the East as well. Lakers are going to come back. The Clippers are going to come back. And whoever stays healthy, whoever can battle the, the COVID-19 issues that they may have in the course of the year, it's going to give that team the best chance. So, I mean, staying healthy is our biggest thing for us. we got to stay healthy. You mentioned staying healthy and, and the COVID vaccine. Um, are you at all concerned about the protocols? Not at all. Not, not at all. I am total in, a, in unison with, with the league, and uh, I think everybody, you know, has been speaking about the, you know, the vaccinations, and, you know, I'm a firm believer in science, you know, and I'm going to stick with that, and, and hopefully everybody abides by whatever the league sets the rules, and, you know, I, I think that, you know, once everybody buys in, we're going to be fine. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.